Good morning. It is driving day. <laughs> Last night, Kristen decided to pack up all of the boxes while Hazel was sleeping. So our living room has greatly reduced in uh, packing stuff. And we've got a little bit more to go. We gotta bring our mattress down and our, what are they called, like end tables or something. And then we'll be hitting the road. My mom's coming over um, with my brother to get dropped off because she's gonna be driving with us on the trip. So that's exciting. We've got some snacks. We're gonna pack a cooler and the kitchen all together. And we're ready to go. Should be a few hours. There's Hazel. Say hi. You. you still love your empty room? <laughs> silly kid. You're so silly, Hazel. Should we put some shorts on you? Shorts. Sure. It's How chilly about, outside. Is it cold? Brr. How about some pants then? Yeah. What color? Green? It's only 53. What? It was close to 90 yesterday, and now it's going to be 53 today. Here's the truck, all loaded up. Kristen loaded the boxes. Last night I came home from work and loaded up my tires, and my Evo trunk, and my piano, and my bowling balls. So I did some stuff last night before I went to sleep, and now today's just going to be the rest of the stuff. Kristen made a joke, she said, by the time I'm done packing with it, we can still fit the minivan inside the truck and not have to drive two separate cars. <laughs> yeah, maybe we overestimated the size that we needed for the truck, but bigger's better, and uh, it's better to have a little extra room, I guess. Everything else can pretty much be laid flat on the ground over here. The back of the truck is always gonna be the most bouncy too, so. We'll see. We'll see what we're going to do. We still got our big old king size mattress and that is better to lay flat rather than upright like you would with a normal box spring because it's like a Tempur-Pedic material and it kind of just folds over on itself if you leave it upright. So that's not good for it to bend in the middle. So that's good. We got a big surface area to set it down and I've been talking for a lot. So uh, let's get to work. Here, come over here and take a picture. Hazel's first time in the moving truck. We told her she has to hold somebody's hand if she wants to come up here. Come in, come hold daddy's hand here and we'll take a picture. Cheese. The garage is slowly emptying out. There is not much left. Pretty much just random items that uh, can't be stacked. So I think they're gonna go in last. Such as lawnmower, yarn, yard equipment, wheelbarrow, this stuff. My mom and brother just showed up. Uh, my mom's getting dropped off. I think I said that already, but my brother, I enlisted him to help me carry down our Tempur-Pedic-like mattress that weighs a ton. But currently, Hazel's sleeping on it, so can't do that. So I think him and I are gonna use the forearm forklifts and take out some furniture. <laughs> you said the what, the forearm forklifts? Forearm forklifts, <laughs> as seen on TV. Hi, 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 guys, we started today at 11 a.m. and it's 5 p.m. And I thought this kitchen was gonna go faster, otherwise I would have done it earlier. And then we would have just lived off of paper plates as much as I hate wasting, but this is nuts. We, I thought we were gonna be leaving at like three o'clock the latest. <laughs> Stupid me. So I took off work tonight so that we could leave tonight still. But this is going to work out, hopefully. Um, we're going to leave right around Hazel's bedtime. She's going to sleep. Better. The, pretty much the whole drive. And then we'll get there in the morning. I hopefully Grammy will sleep morning. too. And she... Well, I was going to say, I, I thought it was, well, I wanted to sleep when Hazel did. But I think I need to help drive too. We need three hour shifts because everybody's Maybe. been up all day. We'll see. I know. You got to do it by yourself. I can't drive back. Hi. Wait, you're not letting me put my shoes on. I lost them. <laughs> I'll give you guys an update on the truck. It's uh, pretty much almost full. Bobby came over. We did that mattress. And we are looking good. Still have some wide open space here for all the miscellaneous stuff like the lawnmower, the wheelbarrow, 
And we have two more pieces of furniture. Hazel, remember you gotta hold somebody's hand. <laughs> You're here. Look, that's your stuff. There's a piece to that air conditioner down there. No. Uh -oh. Don't you want to Don't do that. Look at this. You're going to ride back here, okay, Hazel? Yeah. Dancing. Nope. You got to have a hand. Are you down? Done? Done dancing? So we've got a little bit left, and then we're hitting the road, Jack. But we're coming back. Well, guys, are you ready to see the truck? Whoa! It's completely packed. Garage is empty, and we've got a few more things. We are way behind schedule. Way! All right, guys, this is it. We're loaded up in the truck. Kristen and Hazel and my mom left in the minivan. They have to run by uh, my mom's house first to drop off the cooler, uh, what was left in our fridge. And I'm just hitting the road and they're gonna catch up to me. They've already been gone for like 10 minutes. I'm setting up everything in here. This radio has Bluetooth, but I don't know how to get it to work. So um, it's not connecting, but that's where we're at. We're about to take off now. It's gonna be crazy. because Penske forgot to fill up the DEF fluid. It's diesel exhaust fluid, and I guess it's for um, emissions and better gas mileage and whatever. So I stopped here. Luckily there was one trucker here getting fuel and fluid himself. Um, and he was super friendly and helped me out and had me fill it up and everything, so. There you right there, hey. <laughs> um, yeah. And he said, make sure you get ultra low sulfur fuel as well, because that's what my gas tank says. And he says, if you put the wrong fuel in there, it might not run right and it might break things. And Penske will try to hit you for that. Hopefully Penske reimburses us for the $45 that this cost, because it should have been on full and probably should have lasted our whole trip. Well, Penske, we gave you a great review before we left. So hopefully we can continue that great review once we get there. Yeah. All right. We so go. we're we went the wrong way at first, and then we we switched our route, and we should be on our way on the right route right now. So stay tuned. So it's our first rest stop. We have six hours to go. It's uh, three in the morning, I believe. I don't have my clock on me right now, but 3 a.m., six hours to go. There's just no way we were gonna be able to drive six hours. So Kristen's in the van. She's gonna take advantage of Hazel sleeping. Right now we're probably gonna sleep for probably about an hour and a half, I'm assuming. Um, and this is my bed for the night. <laughs> so, let's get some rest. Hey, we're back. It's light out. It's not a good thing. We stopped at 3 in the morning, and, um, I guess my eyes were kind of going cross, and Sean's like, do you want to stop at the rest area? I'm like, yeah, we might as well play it safe. So we just woke up, it's like 6.45, and we're gonna go wake up Sean. Hazel looks out and she sees this big yellow truck and she goes, Daddy! 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 
Wanna do it in there? We slept late. What's you that? got a nice bed in here, Ann, huh? Kind of. 6.45. Mm. I gotta go pee really bad. Can you take her and get yeah. home? All right. Yep, we slept a long time. Oh. We are about ready to go. Hazel and I are eating, well, I just ate a bologna sandwich and a pickle, and Hazel's eating a pickle, and I think Grammy might feed her a little bit of a sandwich. We're gonna stop at the first exit because my gas tank is a quarter tank. It says a door ajar. It's not a jar anymore. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for Sean to get in the truck. He's got the door open. And then we're gonna head to the first exit. I'm gonna get some coffee. Grammy might get some coffee. And we're gonna get some gas. And I have bread in my teeth. Back on the road, it's a foggy one. Uh, we kind of overslept. I mean, uh, you already saw 6.45 or something like that. It's already 7.20 right now. We made some more bologna sandwiches so that they were ready to go. Kristen ate one. I think she fed Hazel one with Grammy. And uh, we're back on the road. This thing sucks. Like, I'm using cruise control going 70 miles an hour. But every time we go up a hill, the thing slows down so much. We're almost at 55 miles an hour. And it's so foggy, so... It's not that big of a deal that we're slowing down so much. But, we've got like six hours left. We're not gonna get there until about one o'clock in the afternoon. And then we gotta unload and head home on Sunday. Crazy quick trip, but we'll be back for good in like three weeks. Pretty cool, we're right on the edge of the Smoky Mountains and they sure don't call them the Smoky Mountains for nothing. There's Kristen and my mom and Hazel. They're passing me, we're going uphill. So I'm losing all my speed. <laughs> bye bye. Pass them on the right side, pass them on the right side. Them on the right side. And they're gone! But we're about to go uphill, so they're gonna catch back up. What are you gonna do? Oh, toes. <laughs> you wanna show? show them how you eat with your toes? You wanna eat a raisin with your toes? <laughs> Oh my. 
Mommy's gonna be there. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, Daddy. Oh, yay! Daddy, 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 Daddy. We're saying everybody's name. Huh? Huh? We're saying everybody's name. Who's, where's Hazel? That's right, there she is. 